Hey friends, Phil's back and I'm bringing you another zone control. So we start off this game in Palace and I look at the scoreboard and I see that we're playing against Smash. I've played against LTO a few times before and I know that all he uses is Redeemer, which is really annoying. So I know that this game is going to consist of mostly just Rockets. So we rush out for C because once you have it, it's really easy to hold on to it, but if you lose it, it's really hard to get rid of it. So I throw my grenades. This guy's already here for some reason. Take him out. I'm low in health, and I run out for this guy. And he kills me. So get five of them down. Hopefully my team can take back C. And they do, so we're good so far. I have a little bit of lag right now. But it's not as, not that bad, so I, I just deal with it. So this guy has really low health and you know, runs of hides. And as you see here, my team keeps spamming the commands, which is super annoying. I hate it when people do that, especially in the beginning of games. Um, I feel like people who spam the commands are always the first ones to die. And they're just they're not that bright, so. Ah, oh god, it just drives me insane. But they're getting aided at spawn, which is really frustrating. Another instance where I die without taking anyone out. And they've taken back C. My team is doing very, very little and it's super annoying. But in the end, it's good because that means I get all the kills. And I'm fine with that. So this guy uh, tries to run away, but I grab him with the Doom Hammer, throw my grenade down there, and right there at the spawn. So when I'm fighting um, against people who use rockets, your number one goal is to just maintain your distance because the farther you are away from them, the, the harder it is for them to hit you. Like at this instance where I make room for him and he's unable to kill me. Three guys over there, I throw my grenades frantically and I take two of them out. One guy runs away. I take this guy out. Someone plants a turret right there and runs away. I take I sit back a bit because I see that grenade. Lucky that rocket didn't kill me. I hear the booster. And um, unfortunately he doesn't do too much to help me out even though he's boosting. And when people are boosting like that, it's really easy to pick off the enemy. Because all their attention is set on the booster. So I just take them out while they're trying to kill the booster. So it all works out in my favor. So yeah, the commands are super annoying. Throw my grenade there, get lucky with three kills. Take this guy out. We try to grab C here. Finally kill this guy. I'm thinking they might take C, so... I try to take these guys down. Come in for the flank, and... Um, Really whole on health here. I try to help out this booster. And I get lagged right here. I don't know what something happens and I my brain froze and I died. So as you can see I'm I was correct in saying that they just use Redeemer for all, all their kills. Very little skill involved with the Redeemer. So I'm just trying really hard right now to take and keep C for a long time. 
but their team is rushing out and my team really isn't doing anything and it's driving me a little insane if one of our teammates if one of my teammates at least were rushing out even a little bit we would have won this game but they were just sitting back and that's what caused us to lose nonetheless I feel like getting 50 plus kills against a clan is pretty cool so I decided to share this with you guys. I see a dot on my radar and I take him out. Oh, I try to take him out. Throw my grenade down there. In Palace, grenade kills are the majority of my kills. Take that guy out swiftly. I see these guys down here, so I tried to kill them and somehow I died there. Probably a rocket. We're here to try a little trick. I don't know if you know this or not, but you can actually throw grenades through this wall. But I've never actually gotten a kill doing that, so I don't know if the grenades actually make it through. You saw that there was a hit marker when I threw the grenade, so. I guess you could potentially kill someone, but I've never have yet. So I'll keep trying it. But yeah, hopefully, like I said on my previous video, hopefully Madfinger fixes all the glitches in this game. So I died there from grenade. Try the grenade trick one more time, just in case. being cautious when I'm walking out to see. So right here they're preoccupied with this guy and I'm able to take them out one by one. LT right here and I go in for the melee but his boyfriend um, backs him up and kills me so fortunately I wasn't able to take him out. So yeah, these guys are setting up their turrets and they've got the rockets out and they're just your cliche bad team, you know. But nonetheless, somehow I managed to get 50 kills. Um, I've only had a few games in my entire career where I've gotten 50 plus kills. So getting it on film for you guys, I uh, thought it was pretty cool. So these guys are rushing out really hard and my team is just sitting back at one spot. It's like, how how are you guys allowing this to happen? So this guy almost gets past me. As they're preoccupied with that corridor, I try to take a few of them out. LTO sees me, he comes for me. Misses with the rockets and I take him out with a doom hammer. Take this guy out with one shot. Switch over to Big Boy and try to take that guy out, but fucking my teammate gives him. And get nated. At this point, if we don't grab C, we're pretty much guaranteed to lose. So I really tried hard to grab C, but in the end we do lose, so it doesn't matter. Throw my grenades. Rule of thumb is just always throw grenades because, you know, dying in, cal in uh, palace is, it could happen at any moment. So if you die with grenades, it's a huge waste. So just right away, just throw them and then worry about killing people.
Also, um, a little tip is don't ever use the medic command. Because whenever I see someone on the opposite team using that command, right away I, I pull my aims to them because I know that one hit is going to kill them. And I never ever use it because why would you give that information away to the enemy, you know? So, like, rule of thumb, just never use that command because you're giving away free info that, you know, they might not care about you, but if they see that, they're gonna think, oh, I'm gonna shoot this guy. Which is what I do. So right here, I try to get past them and go for D because C isn't working out. I try to defend it as hard as I can, but eventually I get naded. But I put up a decent fight, so that was good on my behalf. And my team didn't even rush out for C, like, that's how bad they are. So luckily didn't die from that rocket right under my feet. And another instance where I die without getting any kills. It's always a sad moment when you spawn and you die. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny that that guy was saying rush them, but he was sitting and hiding, so I don't know, the kids these days. I'm the one who needs help. But yeah, no biggie. Um, them sitting behind and letting me do all, do all the work gets me all these kills, so I'm happy it, it ended up the way it did. So I've got, we've got six more spawns and I need to get one more kill to push 50. Throw my grenades and get two kills. So that is the end of it. Try my hardest to get one more kill, but 51 is where we stop here, unfortunately. So that concludes the game. I tried my hardest to beat them, but unfortunately my team caused us to lose. So I hope you guys liked it. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back soon. Later, guys.